developments from today. Frankie? Yes, this is the 25-page CLAX action lawsuit filed this morning against Seattle Children's Hospital. The attorneys that filed this claim the hospital has known about the aspergillus mold for years, and they say the hospital's been trying to cover it up ever since. When the CEO of Seattle Children's Hospital admitted there was aspergillus mold on campus, it shocked the public. These attorneys who've been studying aspergillus cases say managers have known since at least 2005 and failed to take steps to remedy the problem. This action is really targeted against the management, the building and engineering department of Seattle Children's, about a systemic cover-up that's existed now for almost 19 years. In a previous news conference, hospital CEO Jeff Sparing says 14 patients developed aspergillus infections at the hospital. Of the six children that died of aspergillus, one of them was Logan Schaefer, an infant. Logan was exposed to the mold in 2005 while he was at the hospital for heart surgery. The court documents say he died of a heart aneurysm caused by the fungus. Attorney John Lehman thinks the mold exposure goes beyond the operating rooms, and he believes there are many more who have been sickened. I mean, you have numerous children that come in there without aspergillus, and after they're there two weeks to a month, they develop the aspergillus. And that's when we know we have a, a poorly functioning HVAC system. Lehman says he told the hospital about its contaminated HVAC system back in 2005 when he and a family filed a lawsuit against Children's for aspergillus. Part of the process, we discovered that there were problems with the HVA systems throughout the entire hospital, not just the operating suites. And you have a significant number of the immunocompromised patients that are developing aspergillus infections, pulmonary or otherwise. Now, earlier today, I called and emailed hospital representatives asking them for comment about the lawsuit and about accusations of them knowing about the mold for years. Right now, I am still waiting for a response. Reporting live in Seattle, Frankie Thompson, Q13 News. All right, Frankie, thank you. Meantime, the family of another child sickened by mold at Children's Hospital also filed suit today. Their lawyers say the boy was 11 when he had surgery. They say he wasn't immune compromised, but not too long after the surgery, he developed significant symptoms eventually determined by the hospital to be an aspergillus infection. They say this also led to complications with his spine. And that is the thing that is really most difficult for him now. He's got extreme pain, especially in the in the lower end of his back. It affects his ability to sit or to stand or to walk or to do anything that an 11 year old kid does. And the prognosis is really um, it is unknown. The lawyers say the family is suing to make sure their son's health needs his, their son's health needs are taken care of and that there's accountability on the part of the hospital.